Um, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're now going to review the complete works of William Shakespeare. I got this on Amazon, and I'll put how much it was in the whiteboard video. And uh, so we'll just start off by saying this cover is just amazing. I mean, this is a solid, thick. I'm assuming it's a pleather, and I, if I remember correctly, this is not, and this was not expensive. This was like twenty dollars. So for a book to be this nice for twenty dollars is rare. It does have a ribbon like a Bible, and it does have the gold. It does have the gold <coughs> like a Bible, as you can see, it's shiny. So that is very nice, and decorations. Uh, that's an actual picture of Shakespeare that they put in here. And it's going to discuss uh, the Shakespeare at the beginning in the introduction and, and how to read Shakespeare and why you should read Shakespeare and so on. Um, in terms of the poems, the poems are at the back. And the sonnets, for some reason, everybody wants to put at the back. I kind of wish they would put the sonnets at the front. Nobody does that. Everybody puts the sonnets at the back. Um, so, you know, the paper on this is really good. It comes yellowed already. And there's not a lot of books that do that. And so, you know, this is made to look a certain way. Um, because I guess that's just, you know, the type of people who want to read Shakespeare want it to be a certain way. Professors or play writers, artsy people. One thing I will say is... Um, in addition to, obviously, it's written in Shakespeare in English. I do not like this font. You know, the size of the font, in addition to whatever kind of font that it is, is not my favorite. I don't like that. I do like the way that it is organized. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. You're going to read lots of things. If anybody remembers that movie, American History X, there's a scene that I always remembered where... The racist guy says, and I'm going to do something to your Shylock nose or something like that. And I was like, I don't know what that is. Shylock nose. I thought it sounded like Irish. It sounded like some type of an Irish thing. But he was saying it to the Jewish guy. So that Shylock actually comes from this. It comes from Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote a thing called The Merchant of Venice. And it's about a money-hungry Jewish person. And the guy's name is Shylock. And he's obsessed with money and... So, you know, there's little things in here that are very influential culturally, um, which is nice.